memory games. You see them all the time. Whether it's just pushing buttons or remembering a sequence of lights. video here we like that intro yeah, I have two of these memory games right here this one's called flip side and this one is called brain bot however put these off to the side and I can show you my very own Lego memory game using my storms so how does it work on the distance sensor, there are four lights. And in our Mindstorms app, there are four buttons. Each light on the distance sensor corresponds to a button. The distance sensor will create a sequence using the lights and you'll have to push the buttons in the order in which the lights were turned on. Each time, the sequence gets bigger until you get to the end when the game is all done. All right, so without further ado, we can get to building this memory game right now. Alright, so here's the finished product right here. Now it's time for me to show you the code. Make sure that you enable the remote control blocks by going to this section in the Mindstorms app and by adding four buttons. So what these four stacks are saying is when each button is pressed, uh, it'll beep and it will change the score by one. And then uh, these two stacks here, these are just different combinations of lights first um i just make it light up one of the lights then i make it turn off and then i'm gonna wait until that corresponding button is pressed if it's not pressed it's gonna play a bad beep and then it just stops this stack and that is essentially what's going on here uh you just add a light each time and then obviously put weight blocks in between i did 0.2 seconds and then uh another wait until block uh for each button that you have to press so you can just keep going so then when it gets to the end i just make the lights make a smiley face to show that you made it to the end of the game you can also make your own combinations you can even adjust the weight blocks if you want it to be harder or faster that is all up to you so there's just the basic code right here i and i have two uh separate patterns that the distance sensor does so yeah that is really going to be covering it up for today's video um we do build this game uh hope you have fun but making your own combinations maybe you can give it to a friend but yeah so that's what we're gonna cover thank you very much for watching and so see you in the next video bye